Hello everyone, and welcome to the Mortuary. I am the Mortician, and today we're going to have an old school webcam uh, video simply because um, my camera's almost full, and every time I try to empty it, it crashes. The thing crashes, so we're going to just deal with this for a little bit, um, just for this video hopefully. Um, but I just want to take a moment and take one day to just talk about my love for arena shooters and what they mean to me. Uh, and the reason I wanted to do this kind of a video is because Unreal Tournament turned 20. He I mean, is 20 years old now. And I just figured I'd gush about arena shooters in general. Not just Unreal Tournament, although, uh, Unreal I should say, because although that's going to be most of it, there, there are some that deserve some recognition as well. So, without further ado, we're going to hop right into it. Now, we have to hop back in time a little bit further. I was 12 years old. Me and my friend used to gather in his house um, quite often, and we would play an ungodly amount of Quake 3 Arena on the PlayStation 2. It is absurd how many hours I have dumped into that game with him and by myself. It would make you throw up to know how often I played that game. I love it. It's one of my favorite games of all time. As you know, the movement is super slick and fast. Even on the PlayStation 2, by the way, it's super slick, um, 60 FPS. It's super fast paced, you know, with all the jump pads and shit, and the plasma gun is like the destroyer of worlds practically. Um, just a super amazing game. Now, me personally, in my library, I've always been an Unreal Unreal guy. I've had, you know, Unreal Championship on the Xbox. I wish I brought it over here. Um, but I've had Unreal Championship on the Xbox. It was one of the first things I purchased from the Time Capsule, the place where I get my comic books. It's one of the first things I purchased. And I play that so often. I love it tons. It's one of my favorite games yet again. Um, super fast paced. I love, love, love the weapons in Unreal Tournament. I love the rocket launchers. I love the giving. The giving effects in Unreal Championship are really awesome. Um, you know, you have the bio rifle, which is not really my favorite weapon, but I'd be lying to you if I told you it wasn't cool. Amazing, amazing game. One I love immensely. I also have Unreal Tournament, the Game of the Year edition on Steam, and I have Unreal Gold. That was the first PC game I had ever purchased, was Unreal Gold. Um, the case is fucked up, because I used to have shelves right over there in that area of the room. It came crashing down and broke the jewel case. I was so upset. But I love it. I haven't really played it. I haven't put it in my PC. Um, not because I don't want to play it. Well, just because, you know, I, I don't want to fuck it up any more than it already is. <laughs> because, once again, it's my first, you know, my first game. It's my first PC game. Why would I want to fuck it up anymore? Um, but I love it. I have Unreal 2 The Awakening. Oh, God, I played that for, like, ten minutes. Ten minutes. It's not really an arena shooter. It's, like, their attempt at, like, Halo or something. But I played it for, like, ten minutes. I, got, I was so over it in, like, you know, like I said, ten minutes. Um, then we have Unreal Championship 2, which was actually really interesting because it actually had more melee combat than before. Because before you had, I think it was called the Jackhammer or whatever, which you would hold the uh, left click or the RT. It would bring the uh, front of the hammer in, and the longer you held it, the more damage it did. But in Unreal Championship 2, they added, like, um, a third person mode. So you go into third person, I think it was, like, called Berserk or something. It was some... Uh, thing you would do when you could beat the shit out of people in that mode. It was really, really interesting. I really liked it. Um, I just purchased Unreal 2004. I absolutely love that game, of course. Um, it, it's very... I, I do like the single player a lot. I do like the feeling of actually going through a tournament and, you know, just wrecking house. I just absolutely adore it. Um, and it's sad to say that I never really got the chance to play any of these online um and it it, it, it sucks because like when a certain game came around the, one of the first early access games and probably one of the only early access games i'd ever purchased toxic came around 
that was the only game that I've ever on Rio Nishir that I ever played online. And every time I played online, because my friend had to coerce me into playing online because I, I just don't like online multiplayer games. You know, I played Counter Strike Global Offensive. I didn't like it. I thought it was too slow paced. I just I, I I got sick of it. I got real sick of it real fast and just dropped playing it instantaneously. Played H one Z one too slow paced way too slow paced i have you know i have adhd i i do not want to be walking several hundred miles um for a half an hour or more um to get from one square to the next i i thought that was absolutely dull one of my least favorite games actually i tried insurgency i liked insurgency a little more because i like the realism it, it may not have felt it may not have been a fast paced game but it still got my heart pumping knowing that at any moment I could be one shot in and just killed and that would have been it. Um, so that's the closest that I've ever gotten to like loving an online game that isn't an uh, arena shooter. But I used to crush fucking competition on Toxic. Like, I couldn't find many people for a long time. I don't know if it's like brought back from the dead or whatever. But I just can't find many people, and it, it's upsetting because it's like the only online game I think I really enjoy. Maybe it's just uh, some connectivity problems or whatever. Maybe I just, you know, have a bad connection and it happens, and so I'm having trouble finding servers or whatever. Um, but it's a real damn shame. But back to Unreal Tournament and Unreal. I also played Unreal Tournament 3. Another game that I dumped a shameful amount of hours in. It's ridiculous, and for, and for the dumbest reasons too. Like I play, you know, Team Deathmatch a lot. I love Team Deathmatch. Capture the Flag is great. Love Capture the Flag. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, but we used to do me and my cousin because we would play this a lot together. We used to. They introduced, or they might not have. It might have been an Unreal uh, Championship too, but I, I don't remember. But there was. Fane deathing and Fane deathing was basically you would just basically ragdoll you'd fall over you would you know like your limbs would wiggle in the air and whatnot and there was a specific level it's called gateway and that level there were portals that take you to different you know stages it's actually really cool it's like three or it's as it yeah it's like three different stages rolled into one there's like a skyline a waterfall and a tundra and it's such a cool map but one of the things that we found out you could do was you could feign death through the gateways and what would end up happening is one of two things you would get either you know ragdoll like a son of a bitch and get stuck under the ground like your head would be the only thing visible and the only way to um, the only way you could get unstuck was for someone to kill you and the second thing that would happen, which was the thing we did it for, because it was fucking hilarious, is you would just explode. <laughs> that I don't know if they ever fixed that, but that's just our exp my experience with it. It was super fucking funny. Like I said, just doing that alone, it was probably I don't know. I, I, I I'm too embarrassed to even try to estimate for you how many hours I wasted feign deathing through the portals on Gateway, uh, but. I absolutely love Unreal Tournament and, and Arena Shooters, and it's just so weird to think that they're, you know, they're, that it's 20, like Unreal Tournament, or Unreal, I should say, because it's not, the first game wasn't Unreal Tournament, it was Unreal, um, obviously. Um, turning 20 is ridiculous, because the game is practically as old as I am. I am 21 years old, I'm going on 22. I am, it, it's just a weird feeling to me for some reason. Like, I, I've had all these experiences for these games for such a long time. Uh, Unreal Championship, even older than 12 years old with Quake, I think I actually... I think that was one of the first games I bought f for my 360. I mean, uh, my original Xbox. It was, um... I believe we were coming back from Connecticut. Because it was, um... We were in Connecticut visiting a, f a family friend, we'll say. And on the way back, we stopped at a block Blockbuster, and I think they were going out of business, so we decided to stop in, and I picked up an Unreal Championship. I must have been 10 or 11 years old. So that's a little bit earlier, a little bit earlier than, than Quake 3 Arena. But um, I absolutely love it, and I hope there's 20 more. I'm so worried. Like, 
gushing aside, because I've been gushing for 11 minutes, I'm worried that this is a dying genre. Like, people would say it died in, like, 2008 or whatever, um, when Unreal Tournament 3 died. And, like, it's a shame. It's a shame because it's, it's something I love so much. It's something I wasted so much time on, something I, I honed my skills, you know? I can, I, it's one of the games that made me such a good gamer because you, even on like the bots, you would get your fucking asshole blasted open if you were not, didn't have quick reflexes. So I owe a lot to Unreal. I owe a lot to Unreal Champion and whatnot. Championship. Um, but it sucks that there's not too many arena shooters anymore. Like Toxic, That's there's one. But not much more. And that, that's a shame. And I hope, I hope that, um, I think Epic Games makes it now. So on the wall there, it's made by Atari, but I'm pretty sure Epic Games has it now. Or maybe there's a company, but I'm hoping there will be Unreal Tournament 4. I would absolutely love nothing more. This E3, make this my E3 wish, than for someone, anyone, to announce Unreal Tournament 4. Nothing would fill my heart with joy knowing that someone is at least trying to bring it back. And I don't mean like a Quake Champions. I didn't even get past the menus because they didn't allow custom games for my tier. But that's a video for another time. Let that slip by. This, this is for Unreal. Tell me what you think about this. Tell me what you think about me just being positive for a change me just coming out here telling you guys a little bit about myself what you know certain game things mean to me i'm thinking about if i do another one of these of this positive kind of video of me talking about games i think i'm gonna do the elder scrolls next and then fallout after that so please tell me what you think about me just gushing about games so thank you guys for watching mortician peace out Happy birthday, Unreal.